This program is intended for mature audiences. Parental discretion is advised. What up, guys? It's Bill Cabins. I'm bringing you another video today. So, um... People thought I wasn't going to react to it. Y'all got to give me time, guys. It takes time to make the videos, edit it, and put it out. So Mike Ray calls himself c coming at me and uh, CJ, right? So uh, let let's get right into it to see what this, this clown has to say. And no business with that shit. You think if I see CJ in the same room, I'm going to sock the shit off that nigga. He best to have his security guard. Bill Cabin, this video for you so this can get to your boyfriend, your new boyfriend, CJ. If I ever see Bill Cabin's in person, I'm going to sock that nigga so hard the nose ring going to fly out that motherfucking nigga nose. I'm going to knock the pussy out that nigga. See, this is what I'm talking about. Mike is trying his best to get me mad, upset, um, trying to trying to basically put me off the internet. I'm not going to stop making my videos on Mike. I already came to Mike and offered him a boxing match since he's so tough, since he's so this and that. I said, Mike, I will fly up to Milwaukee the next day. I still got the text messages. I will fly up to Milwaukee the next day and we can set up a boxing match since you feel the need to get your anger out, right? He declined and he said, hey, if you come up to Milwaukee, I'm just going to shoot you. Look, I don't play that, guys. You know what I'm saying? I take that as a threat. So I'm not about to, you know, get to get to shooting, uh, you know, over YouTube, guys. If he wants to have a boxing match, he we can do that. And I and I already offered to put up, you know, a thousand dollars, fifteen hundred, two thousand, whatever you you feel that you need, Mike, in order to hop in the ring with me. It's been this has been a year in the making. You know what I'm saying? Like I told Mike that we can get in the ring, and then you know he comes up with all that rah rah talk. Nobody is scared of you, Mike. You know, in in real life or on the internet. But you you got this. I don't even know what to call it, guys. He got this. Um. This heightened sense of um, trying to be bigger than who he is. You know what I'm saying? But let's continue. You feel me? That's what they don't want to face. But they can go on the internet. This black this and that. That soft ass shit. When I come on the internet, I'm letting you know what the fuck I'm with. I'm letting you know what the fuck I'm with. I'm with this shit, nigga. Bill Cavins, you can get your ass fucked up. CJ can get his ass fucked up. Marty Mark can get his ass fucked up. It's no different than them niggas jumping in my motherfucking comments saying, pull up, this is... Hey, y'all, you, you, hey, Jim's detailing garage. You seen what you unleashed, right? And Mike was doing good for about... I want to say he was doing good for about three weeks. And then Jim's detailing garage had to hype up this fool's head. And look how he reacts. Nah, all this and that. It hit different when Mike Ray come on the internet, like Omar off the wire. Y'all know who Omar off the wire? Go do your homework about Omar off the wire. That's Mike Ray right there. I think I should push for more gay scenes. Because <laughs> these niggas, they, they think it's sweet, huh? I'm, I want to, hey, tell the director to push for more gay scenes. Like, I want to push that shit more, like. Yo, Mike is off the, off the railing, and I can't talk how, look, guys, the way, the reason why I talk the way I do, because I can't. The way I really want to talk, I cannot do it because of YouTube's guidelines. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to get the video taken down. I'm not trying to get any of that. That's why I'm that's why I'm talking the way I do, guys. You know, um, you know, I can't talk to Mike like we on the street. You know, it's just not YouTube's policies. And we're not gonna do the anti bullying and all of this, but you know, this is the reason why I talk the way I do. So Mike likes to get on the internet at big, bad, and tough, but when behind closed doors, this is not how he is. You know, we seen Mike cry on camera. This man was so this man was so geeked, and his hatred for CJ was so bad. He's crying over CJ's <laughs> buying cars and all this unnecessary uh, crap. You know what I'm saying? But we need to be know. more like we need to take it more serious. <laughs> Tell him that. The gay dude on the internet want to beat their ass. <laughs> I know. So I got the formula. <laughs> but I'm still me. CJ talking about, this shit still in me. Ain't shit in your bitch ass but a snitch, nigga. A <laughs> little boy. That shit in me, not on me, my nigga. It's more like it's on y'all than in y'all, motherfuckers. Because y'all try to keep it on y'all. But that shit in me, though. Look, it might get excited off of this. Imagine, imagine saying all this crap, right? 
and you owe over 10k in child support. This is what I'm trying to get to. He wor he more worried about what CJ got going on. Mike is the bottom of the totem pole. That's what I keep saying. When we turn off this camera, we still got to go back to our real lives. I go back to making what I'm making and Mike goes back to making what he's making and living his life, right? I'm trying to tell y'all, this is what y'all don't see on the internet. Mike is down bad. His money's messed up. He's not where he wants to be in life and he's past the age of 30. When you look up, since, since Ice Cream likes to do all this detective work, right? When you look up Bill Cabins, because it's not that hard to find me. You see that I did this, that, and this. This is not me bragging. You see now I opened up this business. I made this amount of money. I'm not capping on what I'm saying, guys. The reason why Mike is in the position that he's in is because of his mindset. I'm trying to help Mike to become better. You know, at the end of the day, this this YouTube money is really nothing. It's pennies. You know what I'm saying? Mike needs this YouTube stuff. I don't. I just got on the internet because I got tired of people hating on people like CJ or Mr. Organic. They're all doing better than you in life. The reason why y'all at where y'all at is because y'all got that hatred mindset. Get that hate out y'all damn heart. And maybe y'all can get somewhere in life. Maybe you can get on a level where where you on the level of Bill Cabin's income or you can get on the level of CJ on 32's income. I'm just trying to help y'all. Whatever Mike say, it don't phase me at all. You can call me gay. You can say I got a nose ring, ice cream vlogs. When I say I got a big nose, it don't matter. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like none of that stuff matters. Y'all want me to stop making videos so bad. I don't care. You're going to have to make me stop making videos. So you can you can say, you know, you know, no, no offense to that community, but that I'm not a part of that community. So you can say whatever you want to say. It's not going to keep me from making videos because I know who I am at the end of the day. So you can you can try to find some dirt on me or try to. There's no dirt to find. Everything that I'm saying is legit. You know what I'm saying? So Ice Cream can do his little detective work, right? Mike Ray can do his little detective work, right? But at the end of the day, after Mike is done doing all this hating, he still got to go back to the hood. He still got to go back to not having a car. He still got to go back to not having a job, right? He still got to go back to that life. When I, when I, when I, after I turn off this camera, I go back to living my life. I go back to driving my fast cars. I go back to making my income. Mike is on the bottom of the totem pole. If Mike is talking all this crap, how about you show your bank account? How about you show your finances? At this moment that we're speaking right now, Mike owes the city of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, over $10,000 in child support. Why the hell are you worried about what CJ got going on? You can say whatever you want about CJ, but I'm pretty sure he take care of all his kids financially. So why can't you just take care of one? That's my thing. Why can't you just take care of one kid, Mike? There's no reason why you behind over $10,000 in child support. If you, you claim you're making all this money, that's why you got so much hate in your heart for me, for CJ, for Mr. Organic, for all these people. Because you're at the bottom of the totem pole, Mike. You really are. And I try to be be nice to you and do all of this, but you brought this upon yourself at the end of the day. But let's continue. Just check it out. Mike and Ice Cream already know who I am. I'm really from Chicago. I really grew up in that, that area. I really made it from one of the worst parts in Chicago to where I'm at now. I really opened up businesses. I really I really hired people all the people from my hood. I really put people on. That's the difference between me and Mike. You know what I'm saying? Mike ain't did nothing for the black community. If you look up my name, I actually have awards from this is not me tooting my horn. I'm just keeping it facts. I actually got awards from the government for helping people in my community. You know what I'm saying? I, I just don't talk the talk. I walk the walk as well. And this is the, the problem that I have with people like Mike. People like Mike is lost. You know what I'm saying? They always not going to have a job. They always not going to pay uh, child support. You know what I'm saying? This man is so 
far behind in child support. It's not even funny. If you don't pay your child support, you are not a real man in my eyes. I don't care what else Mike is talking about. How are you going to get on camera and worry about what another man got going on with his kids when you when you owe the city of Milwaukee over 10K in child support? Please explain that to me. That's all I want to know. You used to, you used to get in the boxing ring and get slapped around just for owing child support. You worried about people on the internet and can't even take care of your own kid. That's where the problem comes in, guys. And that's why I have the issues that I have with Mike. And then you got ice cream vlogs over here. Let me give y'all the analogy. This is why I'm not going to give ice cream vlogs no, no attention. Imagine, you know, a, a person that don't show his face. He's basically like a ghost, right? So say in real life, you get into a fight with a ghost, right? People are going to look at you stupid because what they're seeing is you punching the air or you and they're like, what, what's wrong with this guy? This guy is punching nothing. Like, does he see a ghost? That That's how I look at ice cream vlogs. I'm not going to argue with a man that won't even put his face on camera. That man wants to hide his identity so bad like he can't be found. I'm not going to argue with a person that don't show his, his face on camera. It's that simple. He want to talk all this rah-rah talk, talk about CJ, talk about whoever. How about you hop on camera? I have no problem with addressing Mike uh, through live or in person or ice cream vlogs. But you, 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 y'all got to understand, it's, it's a game being played. Ice cream vlogs and Mike have so much hatred in their heart that they're willing to do anything that they have to do in order to bring these black YouTubers down. I'm not stupid. I, that's why I'm trying to wake y'all up to see the reality of what's going on. Mike is not successful at all. And that doesn't make me a better person than him or whatever. I'm just giving y'all the facts. Mike is not successful at all. That's why he hates on all these other YouTubers. That's why he hates on CJ. That's why he hates on me. That's why he hates on Marty Marr. All these people are doing better than him financially. Imagine owing ten thousand dollars in child support. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep putting that to y'all. Imagine getting on the internet talking crap about somebody else, but you owe ten thousand dollars in child support for one kid. You can't even take care of one kid and one baby mama, but you worried about what CJ got going on. Now tell me, how does that make sense? So get in my comment section. Let me know what y'all think about this. I'm going to try to put a little insert of um, the thing that we got from the Milwaukee court stating how much Mike Ray owes. But I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace.